it is clear that um, uh, full-scale military operation, or just we call it invasion, of course, uh, failed to achieve the goals Mr. Putin wanted. In fact, uh, the, the, the operation was planned as a three, five days uh, invasion with the, of course, uh, with the change of the regime in Kiev and uh, uh, this operation collapsed. And in fact, uh, right now, that is clear that uh, Mr. Putin didn't achieve the maximum goal. He didn't achieve the medium, I would say, and uh, he even cannot um, uh, occupy the whole territory of Donbass, which was the minimum promise by him uh, during his uh, speech before invasion started. In fact, in Russia, I think just there is, uh, uh, I would say, the major mood uh, among middle-class people living in the big cities is such that they are afraid of talking about this because they don't want to express themselves even even just with the with the small uh, narrow narrow circles of the families because of the danger to be arrested and punished um, uh, under new legislation mr putin passed and uh, already put uh, many people in jail and uh, some of them already were sentenced for, for five or seven years in jail. That is terrible, awful situation in Russia. In fact, and and we, we've already seen, as you say, I, I mean, literally thousands of people rounded up, arrested, uh, a pretty brutal repression of any opposition. Do you think President Putin, though, is determined to carry on, to, to ignore what opposition there is? to yes. the continuation of the war. Yes, he ignoring this, and I think he wants to believe, he would like to believe that he is right. And in fact, it's more and more clear, even in, a, in, a, in a, I would say, um, uh, ministries and different offices, uh, I mean, the public offices, government offices, that's already just the, there is a clear test uh, of loyalty. And uh, unloyal people who cannot confess just they fully support this war, this operation, they say it's special operation, they could be immediately, immediately just cut off their jobs. That's already some kind of uh, 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 just moved and, and, and a mood in, in, in Putin's uh, inner circle. They're very much afraid of uh, upcoming protests, uh, which could come in the coming fall because just uh, of the, uh, again, um, uh, reduction of real incomes and, uh, and uh, just uh, uh, an ability to deliver results of this operation he promised. Uh, even the minimum he cannot deliver. And in fact, he's lacking of manpower, I mean, in the in in battlefield, uh, just military. And they, they use only artillery and, uh, and um, um, uh, different equipment, but cannot move further on. And already just there is a feeling that Ukrainians are so brave, and they already stopped further invasion, further movement of Putin's uh, troops. That has already create, created some kind of negative attitude. I think later in autumn that will be even much more clear on that. So you think that there could well be, despite the tough laws against it, that there could be further demonstrations, further protests this autumn? No, I don't think this autumn, but internally in, in, in the people's mind, there will be a reconsideration of attitude to the war, first of all, and to Putin and his regime itself. And, uh, but on the later stage, there will be, uh, I'm sure there will be demonstrations or protest demonstrations, but not upcoming close m- months or two. You talked about the difficulties that Russia is facing in, in continuing the war. Does it have the military might to hold on to the territory it currently controls, about a fifth of Ukraine's territory. I mean, we've we've seen strikes on Russian installations, even in Crimea in recent weeks. Yeah, I think that is that is all the problem. Uh, all the problem just they they facing, and that is uh, that uh, there is a demilitarization of of um, uh, Putin's troops. They had no, I would say, uh, enthusiasm at all because just there was no just mood to, to 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 fight. But now, when they feel the danger, even outside outside the front line, 
that is creating more disturbance. And I think that is that is com a combination of factors which could change dramatically the overall attitude of even Putin's militaries. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. We are coming to the to the I would say to change of this situation in the end of this year when just the military supplies. Um, uh, of uh, Western uh, Western uh, Western countries to to Ukraine, that support will continue to to be on on the floor, and they would be some kind of leveling up of military capability, and that will be just the change of overall situation on the front and the general change of the mood inside Russian society. And what exactly do you expect to happen then? You, you talk about a change of situation. Do you mean that there could actually be moves against Putin? Uh, I don't think just against Putin. That will be some kind of a silent, uh, silent strike. I would say people would not be be implementing and just, uh, uh, I would say, instructions and and orders. That will be some kind of disorder in the organization and hold this vertical, so-called vertical of Putin's power. That will be just, I would say, diluting of uh, ability to operate with the country and the whole this administrative machine. That's that's stage, stage stage number one. You mean of some of the key officials uh, within Putin's uh, government uh, refusing exactly. to to carry out his instructions? Yes, exactly. And I, I think even even maybe in the just on the amount militaries too. Of course, uh, the, the civil uh, civil servant, of course, but maybe even even in the military officers uh, could uh, could somehow just uh, ignore or not clearly implement the orders. That that could be could happen soon. Let me ask you about the wider position in Russia. Um, there are, of course, pretty tough sanctions against Russia, but there are conflicting accounts of how badly that is actually affecting Russian society, given that it has found other trading partners where it can get supplies and sell its goods. How much of an effect do you think the sanctions are really having on Putin's Russia? Uh, I would say that um, uh, middle-class people living in the big cities, they already feel it. They, first of all, they were cut from the normal uh, normal ability to buy uh, things which were imported on uh, i mean just on a simple even simple things and secondly maybe you've heard that the whole uh, the whole uh, car making industry was stopped people cannot buy cars just the prices for imported cars just even second hand cars just were, were doubled already that is the for middle class that's noticeable Secondly, secondly, just they they cannot travel as they traveled before. Uh, that is not a huge part of population, but it's important. That's the most advanced and uh, thinking part of people. Let's say those five, ten percent of people, but it's the, always a driving force of any society. They already feel it, but other people would start feeling very soon, just when they uh, would uh, have uh, just much much less choice um, uh, in, 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 a, in a supermarkets. Uh, of course, for, for poor people uh, who lived under just the, the, the poverty line, uh, it's, uh, didn't, uh, the situation didn't change much. They, they were poor and continue to be poor. But the problem is that the, 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 the portion of those people just increased. We had 20 million people living under the line of poverty. I, right now, I think it's more. I cannot calculate how much it is now because it's, uh, it's not easy to, to make it. But it's really because of the reduction uh, of, um, uh, of real income of people for already nine years in a row creates such a problem for, 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 for Putin. And right now, uh, less of people, less uh, less um, uh, people started uh, continue uh, watching uh, propaganda television. That's what disturbing the Kremlin too, because just they understand the major machine of manipulating the public opinion just doesn't create such a appropriate effect as it was before, because people already fed up of all those propaganda and uh, just started asking questions uh, um, and they cannot find answers uh, among those propaganda TV programs and, uh, and shows. 
Given the difficulties that President Putin is play- facing, the financial difficulties, um, the di- difficulties maintaining the military effort, do you think we are reaching a point where he might try to sue for peace, might try to begin negotiations uh, whilst, of course, <laughs> trying to cling on to as much of Ukraine's territory as he can? I think I think just he wants to have uh, negotiations now, but he wants just simply cease fire so that to have a break to reorganize his troops, etc. But he wants to keep just all this territory here occupied. But I think it's not right now appropriate time for negotiations. Just later, uh, later this year, by the end of this year, uh, taking account that 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 the Ukrainian army would will continue to get just this appropriate support from the West. It could be the case, but as you correctly said, just the, the demand will be just to to, um, uh, to to leave the occupied territories. I think just Ukrainians will be ready, but not just to give territorial concessions anymore, even including Crimea. You talked about this potential for a change in mood, but we know that President Putin's grip on power is phenomenal. And and we talked about the the pretty heavy sentences for anyone who dares to raise their voice in opposition to him. Is there any way that Putin could be removed or is his grip on power just too tight? Uh, No, there is no such people just uh, uh, in Russia around Putin who can do this. But the, the issue is just Putin himself should start reconsidering just the whole situation. And I think he will uh, uh, develop for himself some, something later, later, later this year. And we, we shall see. Just I think there, will, there should be some kind of, I wouldn't say flexibility, but some kind of move which we could read as a potential desire of Putin keeping the face, but somehow it's of softerize the whole environment around him and the whole situation. He already understood that the whole war against him and just the, if he continues the war for exhausting war, just a competition of potentials and, uh, and uh, watching and hearing those commitments of Western leaders to support Ukraine as long as it's necessary and as much as is needed, he understood that the whole world against him. That's why he had to think immediately about just the scheme of getting out of this situation. And I think uh, we shall see this uh, later this year. I hope so. 